Among hornbills in the world, helmeted hornbill is the most unique species, the only hornbill species who has a solid cast features. It's been recognized for its ivory-like quality. Well, we know that it just lives in the old, ancient Sundaic forests of Indonesia uh, and Malaysia, but it lives only in the lowland areas of the, of the forest, and it nests in the very big old trees. It's the largest flying bird, pretty much, in the whole of these forests. And when you have big birds like that, they usually have highly specific habitat requirements. These birds live on figs. They, they do eat animals, but when they eat vegetables, they only eat figs. And then they nest uh, in holes in big, big old trees. And these trees uh, are going to be some of the big old giants of the forest, and these are the ones that get felled first. The helmeted hornbill um, has a very slow reproductive rate, uh, which is typical of old birds living in old forests. So, for example, um, the female actually is walls herself inside the nest hole with the young for 160 days. That's almost half a year. So this is a very slow rate of reproduction. Only one young a year at the very best. So we know the population is in steep decline and it, where it, it used to be quite a common bird, now people visiting forests for bird watching or, or people, biologists, uh, doing monitoring, they say it has become extremely rare. And this is in just five years, or maybe even just three years, um, th this extraordinary phenomenon. In the late 2012, I received a photos of helmeted hornbill head in the black market. This is shocking me. Since then, I start my uh, investigation projects in 2013 in the West Kalimantan. My worries has been proof. At least 500 adult helmeted hornbills were killed each month in West Kalimantan. It sum up about 6,000 helmeted hornbill killed each year.